Yo, what's good everyone? Welcome back to a brand new video. We're gonna do like a day in the life type thing. Photographer, skateboarder in London, doing stuff. Sick. That's all I've thought of so far. I'm at my friend's flat now, introducing Pete Jobson, professional photographer. Currently doing some product shoots of some breakfast related goods. I'm shooting a breakfast scene for a company called Trecklements and a gin company called Pink Marmalade Gin. But who drinks gin at breakfast? That's my question. People with hangovers. <laughs> okay. So as I'm sat here casually just watching Pete try and figure out how to compose the perfect cocktail breakfast gin apron knife bread <laughs> product shot. So much precision that goes into it that he's changing or moving the tripod one millimeter to the left and it changes the entire frame. And he has to get everything in focus because it's like a giveaway type thing. So everything in the photo is going to be on the giveaway. So you have to display everything that the giveaway is going to be about. And it's a lot of hard work. I'm sat here drinking my um, latte with oat milk, enjoying life and Pete's stressing. And the ice is melting. I did not know there was ice. He's on a time limit. But I'm sure he'll get the shot. He's a professional. Now, after I've just seen Pete meticulously spend two hours getting one photo, I'm interested to know what your favorite thing. Best thing is drinking the final product. Gross, because it's like tomato ketchup yeah. in a glass. It's not actually, it's not really. The best thing is the, is the end photo. Yeah, when you've meticulously set it all up and you shape the light how you want it, when you finally get that final photo. It was you, worth it, yeah. yeah. you go, that's the one. The problem I have with that is the amount of effort that goes into a photo like that, you can't guarantee that the result's gonna be good. Or unless you're yeah. confident in your ability. Well, you saw from the first photo we took, let's put it on the screen now, the first photo that we took yeah. compared to the last photo that we took. Okay, and the last photo was bloody good. Yeah. Now the worst thing about it. Cleaning up. <laughs> yeah, touche. Spin the dope for no reason. Got a ball head, Mr. Clean. Heard the big bags overseas then. We gonna go, go, go. I'm a sweaty boy. 10 year old me would be like living a dream come true to come to a skate park like this. But obviously living around London and shooting street photos and stuff around here all the time, you're kind of like saturated to it. It's been so long since I've like actually skated. Um, but Pete and Sam have managed to get a couple of photos and stuff, which is nice. Now, Pete's gonna try a skate for the first time. Ever. What way is the front? What do I do with my back foot? Put it on the board. <laughs> to be fair, for the first time ever, he didn't land on his ass. <laughs> Alright, I am officially finished being a show pony. Thanks to Sam, Pete, getting some photos. It's time to do some street photography, I think. Aesthetically pleasing and comfiest camera to hold, in your opinion. Comments below. I reckon. Canon R5. Yeah, I've, well, I've never held a Canon R5, but Canon R6, R6 the Canon R. Even the DSLRs, 80D, 70Ds, they're not, so nice to not hold. Not the Sony as it loves. Sony's. It's really like I love this camera, but like it's so awkward to hold if you don't have. To, if you've got a cage on it, it's perfect. But if you don't, it's like. Yeah. Cheers, Dad. Here you go, son. Ensure that you wear a face covering in store at all times. Maintain a two meter. 
sanitize your hands regularly. Please ask a member of our team if you need any assistance. What I'm saying is, because I'm basically six years old and I spilt chili sauce down my white t-shirt, that's why I'm making a random decision to buy this salmon coloured hoodie. <laughs> it's getting pretty late now and the lights from the shops are starting to look pretty sick. And we're just walking past this yellow Ferrari, which is pretty dope. But I'm going to try and get a photo of this Ferrari and the Valentino shop in the background because it looks pretty sick. So cue a load of typical London tourist street photos. I'm just trying to get some like very simple um, long exposures, shooting at like a fifth of a second, that sort of number. Yeah, nothing complicated, keeping it simple. If you're a regular viewer of this channel, I should probably get some merch that just says simple photos because that's all I'm really trying to do, just take simple photos. Um, but yeah, little long exposure, handheld long exposures seems to be the theme as of right now. Proper YouTubers, aren't we? Good to see you, dude. See you, mate. See you. Have a good one. Peace out. Hashtag optical wonder. <laughs> Off camera, yeah? Off camera. You're the best photographer ever, yeah? <laughs> yeah? The reality is we say goodbye and then two seconds later we just stop filming and actually say goodbye. <laughs> but, you know, storyline, vlogging, you know what it is. Jesus. Hey! Got a new desk. For some reason it's the heaviest thing ever. Caution, heavy package, over 15 kilograms. This is actually just the um, the desk frame, like the, the base. I'm still waiting for the desktop. Look, you know I mentioned it in the last video, you're probably not drinking enough water, so go and treat yourself to some clean water. I don't know why I'm doing this. The desktop arrived and it's massive. <laughs> I was not expecting it to be that big. Let's get it built. Check out how sick this desk is. I'm stoked. I've wanted a sit-stand desk for so long, but I just never got around to doing it. So big shout out to FlexiSpot for hooking it up. Really does mean a lot. The desk was so easy to put together as well. I did it in like 45 minutes. So yeah, big up FlexiSpot. I'll put a link in the description to the exact model that I've got here. I don't know, I feel like I'm gonna be a little bit more productive, just the novelty of having something new, like a new desk. You just like, you wanna work at it. So uh, I'm excited to do some work at it. <laughs> um, yeah, cool. Back in London now, realise this day in the life's over a couple of days. But I'm at a ViewSonic Colour Pro tour. Sam's on his way over to do something. What do you want, Sam? I've got some questions for you. So I've just finished shooting behind the scenes photos for ViewSonic and Colour Pro. I want to shout those guys out. They hooked me up with a monitor early last year. They did a giveaway with you guys. So um, yeah, share some love with ViewSonic. I'll put their tags in the description. If you're interested in how I edit all my photos, presets in the description. Click like, subscribe, road to 100,000 subscribers. Peace.